Hi everybody. I am happy to come back to my BFD lecture. Today I am going to speak to you uh, the number 10, uh, the third theory of physiological earthing effect. It is the synthesis of ATP. The ATP is the source of vitality and use. Uh, so far, I have explained to you uh, the first, uh, the natural reflexology effect, and the second, uh, the earthing effect. The, from the earthing effect, the first one is the antioxidant effect, and the second one is a blood thinning effect. And now, today, the third is the uh, synthesis of ATP. So when we walk barefoot, if we take off shoes, we earth. Then from the earth, the pre-electrons coming back to our body. And it helps and stimulates of synthesis of ATP. Now, today, I'm going to speak to you that pact, very important pact, which makes us in a daily life energetic and vigorous and to work without having any fatigue. It is so much important even for the anti-aging effect as well. So now let's see what it is. ATP is a driving force like what gasoline does in cars. To move the car, to drive the car, it should be have gas. The gasoline should be fired and it makes the driving force of the cars. So now the adenosine triphosphate ATP is an organic compound that provides energy to drive and support many processes, processes in living cells such as muscle contractions, nerve impulse propagation, condensate dissolution, and chemical synthesis. So it is a basic uh, the force to move, to work, and to live of our daily life, like gasoline does for the cars. So ATP is critical for energetic living in a daily life. Let's see, the, uh, to drive cars, the electricity should be charged. To let people live healthily and vigorously, we need ATP. And it comes from charging free electrons through earthing, through grounding. If we take shoes, we cannot be earthed, and we cannot get the pre-electrons from the earth, then there must be some problems in generating ATP. That's the reason in a normal life, people become easily tired. But if we work barefoot, we do not feel such kind of fatigue. Let's see. ATP is synthesized through electron transportation chains. Let's see, the an electron transport chain consists of a sequence of uh, carrier molecules that are capable of oxidation and reduction. Here, the supply of enough 
electrons is essential, then how we are be supplied to such electrons in a daily life? In a daily life, people get electrons from eating fresh vegetables, fruits, and vitamin C and E, and etc. But it's not enough, as we cannot take it all day long, so it is very limited. Then how, how it can be fully charged by the electrons. Originally, the creator of the world has planned to let people take the electrons from the earth. We are going barefoot, which was designed for all kinds of animals, plants, including humans. But in case of humans, such plan has been blocked by the invention of non-conductive rubber soles of the shoes from the 1900s. In a modern world, we created these rubber soles of the shoes. Very important creation, invention by the people. But it becomes block our people from being earthed, from that moment, from that situation, cut the grounding, makes people become sick and uh, having full of uh, sicknesses. Let's see how it differs in a daily situations. Electrons help ATP be synthesized, how it can be noted in a daily life. Let's see, hiking in shoes versus hiking in barefoot. There's a clear difference, clear difference, clear distinction. If one goes hiking in shoes for hours, one feels tired and exhausted. But in barefoot for hours, one feels refreshed and energetic. So after coming back home from going barefoot, one can do everything. Cleaning, washing, making fools and excess in a full scale. But in case of uh, uh, going hiking in shoes after coming back home, Everybody feels exhausted. So, would like to take less, but in case of barefoot, it is not. Let's see, you know, photos. So, usually people go hiking in shoes, and sometimes, you know, during that hiking, people get shocked in the heart. So in case of uh, Cheonggye Mountain in Korea, during uh, the Sunday, the helicopter is coming and going continuously to take the people who shocked. and to take it in an emergency uh, hospital. 
to one uh, lady after going to uh, Cheonggye Mountain, it's uh, Mebong. The peak is uh, 582 meters. She feel gasping tired in shoes. So tired. But in case of uh, gentlemen in barefoot, they feel different. In Jirisan Mountain, 1915 meter, it's very high mountain, still energetic in barefoot. They do not feel tiresome. Why? What's the reason? Because during their hiking in barefoot, the ATP is continuously generated, synthesized, because they are fully charged continuously with the free electrons and it stimulates synthesizing synthesis of ATP. If we drive long distance without earthing, Drive in shoes long distance and the no grounding till the end feels so tired, so tired. Sometimes it becomes very dangerous. But if one takes off shoes and grounded on the earth for 10 minutes, even short time, one becomes refreshed and energetic. Here like this, if one take off shoes and just around 10 minutes, 20 minutes grounded with the barefoot, then feel energetic and refreshed. There is no problems, even for long distance driving, for 10 hours even. Every one hour, two hours, just to take off shoes and ground it. Then it becomes refreshed. Because during that 10 minutes, 20 minutes over grounding, the ATP becomes generated. So enough charge of energies. This is what ATP does. Last time I showed you this 79 years old gentleman. Before working barefoot, he has a full of age spots and uh, wrinkles. But after one year working barefoot, the age spots and the wrinkles have been all disappeared, becomes young, becomes pressed, depressed, becomes rejuvenated, rejuvenated. This is what the working barefoot grounding does for the peoples. Let's see another case. Sixty-three years old, Miss Heran Song. She has had only thirty percent of kidney function, and uh, she said that she is uh, full of general word. And in when she comes to our barefoot working healing school, the first day of working barefoot. She has two sticks. Her body was full of fat. 
because uh, her kidney could not work. So fat and so looked. Heavily sick. But two months, two and a half months later, working barefoot every day, she becomes completely changed, rejuvenated, becomes younger, and her kidney starts to work properly. And ATP has been generated continuously. So it makes her so young. This is amazing change. Thanks to the working barefoot. So that's the reason we should work barefoot. That's the reason everybody in the world now are having shoes and they are not having full generation or synthesis of ATP. That's the reason people tired every day. Becomes aged and not feel energetic. So grounding helps and stimulates active ATP generation. Just to summarize once again, go hiking in barefoot, then feel energetic till the end, and even coming back home, still full of energy. Going barefoot and being earthed is continuous charging of uh, energies. That's the reason. And again, driving long distance in barefoot, no fatigue till the end. And the daily life in barefoot. If one works barefoot every day, become younger and energetic and free from any chronic diseases. This is what we have uh, experienced during last seven years of uh, national movement of working barefoot in Korea. Those clear distinctions of working barefoot from the working in shoes, in the living in shoes, explain why one sh should work barefoot. That's the reason we are having this national movement continuously to let people work barefoot. Then everybody can be energetic, can be younger, and it can be even cured from different chronic diseases. It is very easy just to take off your shoes and the ground on the earth. Then it starts to work, particularly the ATP is generated continuously in the, in the cells, in the mitochondria. So we should work. You should work barefoot. You should join us in this national movement of working barefoot. 
So till now, I have uh, 10 classes of uh, working barefoot. And uh, till today, I have explained to you the first natural reflexology effect. And the second, the earthing effect. From the earthing effect, the first one, antioxidant effect. And the second one, blood thinning effect. And the third one today is ATP synthesis effect. And I still have uh, uh, many uh, different effects. So from in next class, I will talk to you about the uh, stress calming effect of working barefoot. It makes people feel released, relaxed and to relieve from the tensions walking barefoot makes you live, makes everybody to live happily without having tensions. With pure happiness. Thank you very much for uh, paying attention to my lecture and let's see you in my next class. Thank you. See you.